In this video, we're asked to find a power function. So, biologists document that the larger the area or region, the more species that live there. The relationship is best modeled by a power function. Puerto Rico has 40 species of amphibians and reptiles on 3,459 3, square miles, and Hispaniola has 84 species on 29,418 square miles. Determine a power function that gives the number of species of amphibians and reptiles on a Caribbean island as the function of its area. So that statement right there as a function of its area tells us that areas are input, amphibians is our output. Okay, we're going to look at this one with regression. So a little bit of practice with regression. So stat uh, is where we input everything. We're going to edit our list. So I'm going to clear out my L1 and my L2. And remember what we said, area is the input. So 3,459 and 29,418. My outputs, well, when the area was 3,459, the number of rep, uh, creatures was 40. When it was 29,000, the number was 84. And now we're going to calculate. So we do go back to stat. Now we're going to calculate. And you're going to go down to power regression because it asks for a power function. Enter, enter. And there's our coefficients. Our power function is going to be 2.37 times x to the 0.3466. Now they're using a here instead of x. So our answer is a using our power regression. Now, they want us to use the power function to predict the number of species amphibians in Cuba, which has the 44,218 square miles. I'm going to show you how we can do that in the calculator without doing a whole bunch of extra work. What we can do is we go to VARS, and we're going to go down to Statistics, and we're going to go over to Equation and regress Regression Equation. Oh, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> wrong order. We need to go to Y. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. This is going to put it in as a function for us without having to do a whole bunch of extra work. Statistics, equation, regression equation. There's the function I just found. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my table. So I need to go make sure my table is set up correctly. I want my independent to be on ask. And now I'm going to put go to table. I'm not worried about what's in there, but I am going to put in 44,218 is my input, and I get an output of about 96.7 or 97 species uh, based on my power model. So that's how we can use the regression capabilities of the calculator to find a power function, and then also just use it to go ahead and find an output given an input real quick.